Hey, today we're going to learn about electromagnetic energy, also known as EE. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to answer both of these questions, 1A and 1B. Question 2, we'll do in a separate video. So let's figure out what is electromagnetic energy and what is the spectrum and list some forms. Well, let's start with the easy part. Electromagnetic energy is the movement of particles. They can be electric particles or magnetic particles often moving in waves or fields traveling through space, which we might call air or gas. We're mainly going to focus on electric waves as we progress forward. Electric waves, remember, from sixth grade, you know, you can have an increasing wavelength. The wavelength gets longer and longer. We'll come back to that in a moment. Let's look at specific wavelengths. Well, you can get radio waves where the wavelength is way larger, larger than red light. Microwaves, infrared waves, the visible light, the light waves we see. White light, which is really made out of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet waves. And we'll show that in a picture in a moment. And then getting smaller than we can see, smaller than violet, would be ultraviolet, gamma, x-rays, and cosmic rays. They zoom right through you. You don't even know it. Going back to the EE spectrum, you know, it shows our visible light waves are just this little bit here. This is blowing out, so you can see, you know, here we have shorter 400 nanometer wavelengths as kind of violet, and 740 wavelengths as red, you know, and we don't see the really big wavelengths, radio, TV, microwaves, because their wavelengths aren't detected by our eyes, nor are the really small ones, gamma rays, X rays, etc. So you can kind of learn a little bit about it. Going back to the beginning, hopefully you can say what is electromagnetic energy and know what is the spectrum, listing some forms. Watch the next video to learn about heat transfer.